All right, so let's get into the unboxing. camera here so we got a little uh little uh I don't know if it's a propaganda thing no it's instructions okay um bdc gun belts classic fashion line talks about sizing all right how you can follow them all the different social media facebook instagram email phone numbers one year warranty cool on everything they sell. All right. So, okay, here this looks like a, some type of little keeper, maybe. Yeah, there's a Velcro on there or something. I would say it's some kind of belt keeper. We got a couple of uh, Allen head screws, an Allen key. <clears throat> and we got the belt itself. Side for a second. And it looks like. Uh, I think this is like hanging in your closet. I think. Put that up to the side. And uh, belt buckle here. Cool. You can see the get it for the camera here. You can see that. I don't know if you can get it on the camera. You can see the teeth on that on that bad boy there. All right. It's a cool looking looking buckle. The uh, belt out of. And I asked for the gray just for something a little different, you know. Okay. You can see it's uh, flat on both ends, or a little round on this side. And you got that, I don't know all the nomenclature yet, but that kind of ratchety system that they use. So, you put the two together when they overlap on your pants, it's really not that thick, but it's pretty rigid. Just try to squeeze it, and it's barely giving. Um, you can see the lines of my hand, so it's it's thin enough uh, where it's not too bulky. Again, even when you on the parts that'll overlap on your pants, not too, make sure you get that on the camera there. And uh, it's rigid. Got a little tiny, tiny bit of give, but I squeezed the heck out of it. You can see the, my hands are red and lines on them. So, yeah, there you have it. The, uh, there's the belt, the buckle system. Again, I think that's a keeper. Um, I guess, I'm not sure what the Allen keys are for. We'll take a look at the instructions and uh, go from there. Looks like it might be is it spare. Allen heads, yeah, it looks like it's some spares for uh, the Allen heads that are in here. And uh, again, that little keeper and something to hang in your closet or, you know, hang the belt on in your closet. I don't know if that, how that fits in or how they do it, but cool. All right, so just reading the uh, directions on sizing your belt, uh, you know, they talk about. So on the back of the belt, there's ruler markings. I'll show you guys that in a second. And find your pant size, then add four inches. If you're doing in the waistband carry, add six inches to your pant size and cut with sharp scissors. For example, if your pants are 34 inches, cut the belt at the 38 inch mark. Uh, and this sounds cut and dry, but I'm gonna show you. Uh, it could be a little confusing if you're looking at it. Uh, if pant size is close to the maximum uh, ruler marking, do not cut, try them on first and trim accordingly. Gun belts only, loosen the screws, I'll show you about that uh, with the included hex head. Insert the cut end into the belt buckle, uh, into the into the buckle teeth, clamp it down, and then on the gun belt version, tighten the screws. Feed the belt around your waist through the buckle and continue until snug. The belt tip should uh, extend three to four inches beyond your first uh, belt loop. So, uh, I was, and it says here, Cut with caution. If the belt is too long, remove the buckle, trim again one inch at a time. Only EDC belts are designed to support a firearm. Classic fashion belts and EDC gun belts are not interchangeable. So, uh, all right, it sounds easy, right? So if you're, what does it say here, 34 inches, uh, you know, cut it to 34 
inch well cut it to 38 inch mark right because you're adding four unless you're doing in a waistband carry then uh it would be the 40 inch mark right so something to understand so here's the numbers 28 29 30 etc uh i've got a ruler set up and when i lay this out flat to the tip here the their number 28 uh, doesn't line up perfectly so if if you don't really pay attention to this or if you just try to take a ruler and line everything up so let me just put the 32 by 32 um, and then you'll see down here it's uh, the sizing's off and it probably has to do with the ratcheting system and the fact that in the instructions here it says uh, the belt tip should extend three to four inches beyond your first belt loop so you got to understand that so i would say when you're you're messing with this uh know your waist size um and then add that six inches for in the waistband carry and maybe even add another inch or two and you can always cut less but if you cut too much um you're kind of screwed and you have to give it to your kid or something right so um i would cut very little at first and then just keep coming back and cut more it might take longer but remember, it's got to overlap, and you got the ratcheting system and all that um, to deal with there. So um, I'm going to give it a go. All right, so I uh, added a couple of inches, uh, and I used some EMT scissors. Yes, they're pink, so other dudes don't steal them. I was an EMT for 15 years, so uh, yeah, female EMTs might steal them, but dudes won't. And apparently, my dog enjoyed the way they tasted, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a whole other story so yeah pretty easy to cut with uh, EMT scissors um, because they're designed to cut belts and clothing and, and whatnot now uh, next thing I got to do is uh, undo these two allen head uh, pieces here so I can feed the belt through uh, onto the belt buckle all right so you can see I loosened those allen heads there and you can see the cut end of the belt right there. Just feed that. Uh, sorry, it's hard to hold the camera and do this at the same time. Let me see. Gonna get the Allen keys out of the way. I have to just undo the Allen keys just a little bit more. All right, so now we got, uh, see I slid it all the way past the Allen keys. I got plenty of extra room uh, you can see it's set to 47, so extra inches, and then the six inches they told me to add. And now I'm just going to flip this. You can see these teeth, so it'll bite down in here. All right, it's got a little, little bit of give there, but I'm sure that'll work out fine. And then I believe this is the. Uh, let's see if I can get it on the camera here. Other angle. You can see the little tooth in there that'll grab on the ratchet in the uh, on the other side of the belt all right so it's way too big for me and you'll understand why in a second so remember there uh there's the ratchet that that uh get on the camera that little tooth will catch into so i don't have this on my in my belt loops yet but just to kind of show you guys so you you slide it in the uh, top portion here or the front portion and you get to push down on that little claw I guess oh, not yet. and you can hear it clicking so you can see the track and the little claws catching in there so you just keep pushing and because it's too big it's going to run out of space here in a second so now there's no space and you can see it's like a hula hoop uh, but again I cut a little too much or I didn't cut enough on purpose because I don't want to screw it up right I don't want to take off too much once you cut off too much you're screwed so a little bit at a time and uh, you go back and, and cut off some more all right so a couple things so the uh, Allen screws you might as well leave them loosened until you found the right uh, length for the belt because otherwise you know little bit at a time take it on take it off cut some more on off on off cut back and forth um, so yeah don't tighten those down to the last second and then when you do when you're done trimming 
The instructions don't say it, but uh, I'm going to take this lighter here and just kind of melt all the all the loose ends here, so it doesn't start to come apart uh, over time. And then I'll, I'll put the buckle back on. I'll tighten them down and go from there. So I just uh, got the belt all set up, and so I was initially concerned, just kind of like an initial impression here. This buckle looks pretty big when you're holding it, and it kind of reminded me of that movie. I think it was called Pootie Tang, where the dude's swinging his belt buckle around, and that was his power. I don't know, it was like a spoof movie or whatever. But anyway, uh, it's actually pretty good. I push it off to the side. So I carry appendix, obviously, as you can see here. The buckle's off to the side, so this uh, area in here, this extra space, this gap, if you will, uh, that's, you know, just because of the contour of the, the holster and everything where it is, it actually doesn't stick out any further. Um, let's pull my shirt out and, and uh, show you that, yeah, it doesn't, if I just turn the camera around, it doesn't stick out. So the, uh, the buckle's low profile and I can even tighten this belt a little more as well. All right guys, so I've been running the Core X7 belt now for oh, a month or so wearing it every day worn it on the range concealed carry i've used uh my outside the waistband holster i've used my uh, appendix carry in the waistband holster and this thing is is super sturdy supports the gun real well uh no issues there i'm digging it i'm digging the ratchet system to to put the belt on and off, you just stick it in and you, you push it uh, as tight as you want. And then to release it, you hit that that release and it comes right out. So uh, I'm, I'm digging, taking the belt on and off every day. Uh, so far it hasn't, you know, had any give on the material. It's still pretty sturdy. What do I mean? If you look at, uh, this is my, my Langdon tactical belt. This is what I was wearing daily before that you can you can see the give here it, it gives pretty easy the other thing i can say and, and i'm not trying to ding the the langdon tactical belt and i'll tell you one of the things i really like about it here in a second is when i put this gun on every day i believe these are discrete carry clips is is the name of it for some reason during the day the belt clip especially if i'm on the range and doing a bunch of draws somehow the belt clip starts to work its way up all right, and I'm not sure why that is because there's there's plenty of room for it to catch, and, and I just I, I don't know why. Maybe because it's not as sturdy, and it, the clip is able to move out. That does not happen with the core belt. It goes on and it stays on all day, so no issues there. So I like that. One of the things for me though, so I try to carry as big a gun as I can at all times, right? So this is the gun I carry most of the year, most of the time, right? So summertime, you'll see me with a t-shirt on in, in jeans or shorts, and I'll, I'll have my Glock 19 with my Delta Point and flashlight on there. And, you know, it's sometimes it could be hard to conceal. So I like to keep it as low in the waistband as possible. So what does that mean? It, means it makes it a little bit harder when you have the belt on you to get a good grip in the holster so i'm shooting past the belts to get a grip on the gun to get my draw stroke so with a rigid belt it you know that could be a little bit more of an issue now you can fix that by just you know moving your your uh your belt clip so that the gun sits higher but again i intentionally sit the gun lower to hide the butt of the gun. I, I'm not a big fan of the wings. I just like less stuff in my pants. So sometimes we're drawing, since I keep the gun low, it can be a little bit problematic getting a good grip with a more rigid holster than something like the, uh, the Langdon belt, which over time has loosened up. And you can see how much room is or uh, how much play rather is in there so when when this belt is on my pants and the guns in my in my pants i can push past that really easy to get a good grip on the gun and draw so having that flexibility because i keep the gun so deep in my pants it helps for me but you can see that this this belt 
it's it's not as rigid anymore. I, I've been carrying this belt for about a year. So, you know, pro and con, pro being, you know, because I carry the gun so deep to try to conceal it easier, uh, I could push past there. But one of the cons for, I guess, because of the give that this belt has, that belt clip will pop off. So, you know, easily fixed by probably just making the gun sit up a little higher. So drilling another hole and just moving the clip uh, on there. So the gun will sit a little higher and I can get a better grip. I just, again, sometimes trying to conceal a Glock 19 can be problematic, especially in the summertime. So, um, you know, just food for thought there, but have nothing but praise for the belt thus far. So if you're interested in the belt, you can go to coreessentials.com and that's core with a K, K-O-R-E, essentials.com. Again, uh, they reached out to me, asked me to do a review, sent me the belt for free. I'm not getting paid by them, uh, giving you my honest opinion. Really don't have anything negative to say about it. Uh, it's a good sturdy belt, only been running in a month, but so far, no issues. So again, if you're interested in the belt, coreessentials.com. This is the X7 in gray. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe, train hard, and I'll see you on the range.